Second time this month. Customer relations are strained enough without shipments disappearing. Your... Uh, the frustration is understandable, monsieur. In your position, I... I should demand a full investigation. Please, let me look into it. I, I will go talk to Monsieur de Saint-Maxent at once. Most grateful, Monsieur Blanc. At least I know I can always rely on you. Pardonnez-moi, mademoiselle. Un peu de red Enchanté de vous revoir. My boy, the cargo is stolen from this very ship. I have no more means of retrieving it than you do. Oui, monsieur. That is indeed troubling. I... Well, what would you suggest, then? I know this much. The devil had that gun to impersonate my dress and my signature. Can you imagine? No, monsieur. Imagination has never been my, uh, strong suit. If it's not too much trouble, may I look at your books? My books? I'd interrogate the captain! If this crew takes bribes, I'd wager he's no less corruptible. I will double it with dice. Are you the captain of this ship? Si! Capitan Carlos Dominguez, at your service. May... May we speak in private, Capitan? Who am I to refuse such a comely creature? Come.
would you be so kind as to tell me what happened with Monsieur de Saint Maxence's shipment? <laughs> Why would you want to know? <laughs> bah! Don't you worry, my little Arthur. The cargo found its way to the intended recipient. Let me pour you a cup. I dare you to tell me this isn't the best material wine that ever graced your heavenly lips. If... if you insist, Capitan. I do. You will not find a better vintage in all of the New World. I'm intrigued. Truly. They hid the goods in two warehouses. Se promener toute seule dans ce quartier n'est pas une bonne idée.
Pardonnez-moi, mademoiselle. My birthday or something. I am terribly grateful for your assistance, Mademoiselle de Grandpré. But how did you ever... <laughs> Never mind. Just please, tell your father to expect a considerable discount for his trouble. Put your mind at ease, monsieur. The cargo will be delivered on time. I dare say thanks a road to Saint Nicolas. Or perhaps a guardian angel, monsieur. Ah, Aveline. I'm sure it is not your old father's company that draws you here. I will leave you both to your private business. Aveline. The documents you found aboard the Rat Captain's ship. I recognize the name. Rafael Joaquin de Ferrer, a known enemy. I don't know what his business is here, but we can be sure it's more than a simple larceny. How can I help? One of Agate's servant contacts tells us that he will attend a social soiree at the governor's mansion this evening. I'll have my best dress ready. Or my worst. <laughs> Fear not, Gerald. I'll uncover his true purpose. In the meantime, may I suggest that you uh, familiarize yourself with the governor's mansion? Perhaps discover a uh, discreet way to enter? Don't worry, Gerald. I will prepare well. Uh, one more thing. There is a small uh, house for sale near the governor's mansion. It would be ideal for a dressing chamber. If you wouldn't mind uh, buying it. Your wish is my command. Monsieur Blanc.
Quelqu'un devrait la Salutations. Ah, remember your place, slave. I'm letting you. sur le porto. Remember, we need these goods delivered to the south entrance just after sunset. Here, this will grant you access to the kitchen.